loves my name is becky you're welcome to my youtube channel i post um youtube videos once every week for now and as time goes on i would increase the number of times i post videos so as to teach you more things and i will also be uploading several tutorials lifestyle videos some q and a sessions as we go on today i'll be teaching you how to make weaves on clothes you can actually use this weave to make skirts you can use to make gowns and so on and so forth so let's dive right into the video i've drawn out my waistline my hip line my knee line and also my full length i'll place the measurements by the side on my waistline i'll be taking my waist circumference divided by four plus two inches to an allowance i would also take my hip measurements that's my hip circumference divided by four plus two inches allowance and the knee line i would minus one inch from the hip measurement we already took that's 11 and a half and i'll put that same measurement down at the full length i'll go ahead to connect those points together i would also use the curve side of my ruler for the hip measurement and i would also make sure there is no pointy edge at the hip line and for the weave now i'll be use, making use of the down part from the knee line to the full length for the weave and i would cut this out so i'll be taking in my dart here my nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches divided by two that's four inches and i'll mark that at the waistline and also at the hip line and i'll connect those points and i will come up from the hip line by three inches at the waistline i will take in half inch of both sides and then i would connect those points together for my dart at any point that you are lost you can always go back to check what i did so at this point i'll be cutting out from the knee line after cutting it out you want to cut out two pieces of this label in the front the upside and the back also just pick any one of your choice so we can start with the weave so i'll go ahead with my measuring tape to mark out what i have here is about 21 inches i will mark three inches all the way down to the other side and i will go ahead to mark three inches at the bottom side also okay i'm trying to make sure my calibrations are correct now connect both lines together and on the vertical side of the pattern paper i would measure out two inches down and i would connect those points with my ruler bear in mind that we also have the front piece and I'll also rule my lines the same way accurately exactly as I have done on the back part. Using the pattern we have cut out initially, I cut out the front piece and also the back piece adding my zipper allowance to the back. And I have also cut out long strips of about 3 inches wide and I would fold them like a bias fold the left side first and fold the right side also then fold both of them together and then you would make a stitch or rather run a stitch on it so we'll go over to our sewing machine and sew the strips at this point if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button thank you so we are done sewing our strips aside from these strips i have shown you here i have a lot more so I would bring out the pattern papers, the left and the right. And I will join both sides together using a paper tape. Off camera, I have gone ahead to um, place the strips on the vertical lines of the pattern paper. Please place them accurately and make sure they are following the lines. And we are going to the sewing machine and we will sew them together just as i am doing here make sure to pin yours so you don't find it difficult sewing on a straight line so i am done sewing 
on the vertical lines and i would place the strips once again on the horizontal lines just do exactly as you see me doing anyway you're confused please feel free to go back and watch again so for the down part i will close it up like a bias because we want to finish have a clean finishing at that point so this is how i'm going to place it and close it so i run straight stitches on the horizontal lines i have also pinned them for easy sewing so i don't make a mistake bear in mind that you're sewing on a pattern paper and losing it might not be easy this is me running more straight stitches on the horizontal lines if you found this video informative please do hit on the subscribe button like and share having done that i would cut out the excesses that i have on both sides just to ensure that when i'm closing the sides they are closed neatly for the side i'll take the fabric that i have ironed like a bias and i would enclose the side the vertical side into it and then i'll run a straight stitch to hold it down and i will also do the same thing for the other side now for the bottom part i will get the long strip that i've ironed like a bias and i will just enclose it also and make a straight stitch so this is what we have currently our basket weave remember the upper part of the skirt that we cut out the fabrics i would get it so take the bottom of the skirt part the upper skirt part fold it into two make sure the zipper um, allowance matches get the center of the skirt and then i'll get my scissors and make a notch at the center also for the weave i would get the center to fold it into two and get the center make a notch there for my landing out of i have also closed it at the sides and i would fold it into two and get the center point also now please pay careful attention here i would place my lining first the right side facing me and then i'll place my weave the right side facing me also and i'll match the notches that's matching the centers for my fabric the right side is facing the weave that means the wrong side is facing me and i'll run a stitch from the center to the right side and from the center to the left side and this is what i have after i have done that do take note that I did the weave did not get to the zipper allowance because I'll be closing that up on its own. And this is what the back looks like neat, clean, and look at how the weave is. I'll flip it to the other side. I would carefully tear out the pattern paper from the fabric and I would close my skirt as I would normally do. Attach my zipper and my skirt is ready please do well to subscribe support my channel like my videos and also share to your friends and family see you in my next videos thank you